I'm Anne from Norway. I've been working in India for the last three and a half year. I go back and forth and I'm working with milk banking. Maybe a concept not known to everyone, but it's a really important concept. All over the world you have milk banks. More than 500, I think, altogether. And in India I've had a milk bank since 1989. But the concept is not known to everyone. It is actually a very old concept. Uh, you have wet nurses from long, long time, from the beginning, beginning of the world, actually. Um, but now, these days, we need to put it into a system. And of course, breastfeeding is the best for everyone. So tiny, tiny babies admitted at the hospital cannot breastfeed, and some mothers are not able to produce enough milk for these babies. So you need milk from other mothers. These milk banks have put everything into a system so the milk will be served safe for the babies. And these milk banks are called Yashuda or Jivanjara or names like that. It's very emotional for those mothers that cannot breastfeed, but also for those who are able to donate milk. And the whole society can take part in this. Uh, if you're not able to donate milk, you can help in contributing with donating equipment. Uh, we've been visiting nice milk banks in different parts of the country where they have art hanging on the walls given from people in the society that wants to give something. Uh, we also call it the gift of life. It gives life to babies that will be able to live because of this gift. So I'm here in India because my hospital in Oslo, Oslo University Hospital, has had a project in Kolkata and now in Jaipur. And I'm also the secretary of EMBA, the European Milk Bank uh, Association. And I've been able to travel around to see different projects in India. And my heartfelt task is to connect everyone in this, to make a move, to uh, re make people realize that it's so much needed to focus on um, feeding these small babies a better solution than formula feeding. I'm lucky to come from a country where breastfeeding and milk banking is so incorporated into the healthcare system. That's not the situation all over the world. Uh, in India you have approximately 30 milk banks. In Norway we have 12, but we only have a population of 5 million. So that means you need a lot of milk banks in India. Um, Norwegian mothers do not hesitate to donate milk. And neither do Indian women when they get to know about this project. We are all mothers, and mothers are the same all over the world. So who wouldn't be able to contribute to give life to another baby? So it's not more complicated than that actually. But we need to have safety regulations and it has to be put into a system. So it's not that milk banks are all over uh, and unfortunately there's not enough milk for all those who need it. We need to focus on those tiny, tiny sick babies in the hospitals. Uh, but there are orphan, orphan babies that get milk from a milk bank. And if it's put into a bigger system, more babies can benefit from this. So, so for the last three and a half years, I've been coming to India many times. And the change I've seen in these three and a half years has been enormous. And when I first came to Kolkata, uh, nobody knew, knew that there was any milk banks around India. And I traveled and I found maybe 10, 12. And the interest has just increased enormously. There has been conferences, uh, meetings, there is going to be governmental guidelines on this. Uh, so we'll see in so many societies that people are actually contributing. But there's room for more people to contribute. With babies in, in the hospital, they need to uh, be able to uh, have their production going so they will have milk when their own baby are, is able to feed. So most of the donors are from that group. Uh, before, or if there's no milk bank, they have to throw that milk in the drain. But now we can use it for the milk bank, and when the babies 
going home, she will be able to breastfeed. So it also have long-term benefits for that baby. And for the mother, because it reduces breast cancer for mothers to breastfeed for long. So, but we also have mothers from the higher society uh, that has no sick baby, but just want to contribute. So it's possible for any mother to contact a milk bank and see if there's possible to, to contribute. So the process is that the milk is delivered to the milk bank. It will be heat treated and all the donors will be tested. So it will be totally safe for the recipient. And we also want to have a practice um, consent form. So the donors give consent uh, that they give this milk away for free uh, and they will not get paid for it. Uh, the recipient's families also give consent. Usually there's no problem. Uh, people want to have this gift of life for their baby. And who wouldn't if it can help and benefit that baby's future? So there are different models of milk banks, but if you want to donate or if you are taking milk from a milk bank, you should ensure that it's from a, a non-profit milk bank uh, where the milk is tested and when the governmental guidelines will come, they should follow those guidelines because if you have milk and it's not tested, it can be a risk to your baby. So right now there's no regulation when it comes to law and milk banks and donor milk. Uh, hopefully that will come as soon as possible because there are private companies that benefit or profit from this throughout the world. Uh, there, I also read in the newspapers that some beauty parlor in some place in India use it for facials, which is not what we want this milk to be used for. We want it to be feed, fed to babies in need. So hopefully people will make sure that uh, if they contribute, they contribute to the right kind of project and not for money. So there's a lot of um, attention from the official side as well. Uh, there was a conference last year in Pune and the health minister came, which to me is like, wow, we don't experience these things, health ministers coming in choppers. So, uh, and last week I was visiting uh, Pondicherry and was invited to the governor, Kiran Bedi, and she actually set up kiosks in some parks to provide a safe spot for mothers to breastfeed. And milk banks should always be related to breastfeeding because what we want is more babies to be breastfed. So it's, it's like, two hands holding together and if we can have more people in the society to contribute in this in different ways we will reach our goal of having less babies in this country dying.